Hi, I'm Fraser Douglas, the Avid Tent Camper. In this video, I want to tell you why I think larger national forest campgrounds are some of the best camping destinations for many tent camping families. Let me begin with a little history of our national forests. In 1891, the U.S. Congress under President Theodore Roosevelt passed the Forest Reserve Act that allowed the president to designate forest reserves to protect our forest, grasslands, and other natural resources from overdevelopment and destruction. In 1905, this Forest Reserve Service was moved into the Department of Agriculture and Gifford Pinchet became the first chief of the U.S. Forest Service. Since its inception, the U.S. Forest Service has acquired national forests in 40 of the 50 U.S. states. Some states just have one national forest, but a few states have 10 or more. California, for example, has 21 national forests. Since 1905, several campgrounds and other recreational areas have been established in each of these forests. And these national forest campgrounds are some of the best family tent camping destinations that you can find anywhere in the country. They typically have large, level, cleared campsites with elevated tent pads and plenty of buffer, buffer space between adjacent sites. Larger campgrounds typically have large, clean bathroom facilities with hot water, flush toilets, and showers. Larger campgrounds also have campground hosts that can call authorities in case of an emergency and provide helpful information about the area. Most of these campgrounds are located on rivers or lakes, so there's plenty of opportunity to fish, to swim, and boat. Frequently, they have nice picnic areas near these lakes with tables, pedestal grills, and sometimes covered pavilions. Our grandson loves nice playgrounds, and usually you'll find one in the campground and in the picnic areas. And you'll also find several nice hiking trails near the campground that lead to waterfalls or beautiful scenic overlooks. And the most important feature of all for families that have to live on a budget is that these campgrounds are very economically priced. You see, the fee at this campground is only $20 per night, but people like me that hold a senior passport only pay half that fee. So how can you find these good National Forest campgrounds? Well, they're not marked on most state highway maps. They usually are not located near interstate highways or major travel routes. They usually are not located near popular tourist destinations. And they have small brown highway signs that are easy to miss, even when you are looking for them. The best way to find a list of the National Forest campgrounds located in any given state is to go to the U.S. National Forest Campground Guide and click the National Forest and Campgrounds button on the left. If you click on a state and then click on a particular national forest, you'll find a list of all of the campgrounds in that forest uh, along with the number of campsites in each campground. For example, under the state of Tennessee, you'll find the Cherokee National Forest listed, and it has 19 campgrounds that range in size from 10 sites to 92 sites. When you click on a campground name, you'll find a description of that campground. When I was younger, I would have stayed in any campground regardless of its size, but I had a number of unpleasant and even frightening experiences staying in smaller campgrounds and so today I only look at campgrounds that have at least 40 campsites, flush toilets, and hot showers. I have discovered that these larger campgrounds typically have better overnight security, nicer bathrooms, and more varied recreational opportunities. 
Now, let me show you a few of my favorite national forest campgrounds in the eastern United States. The Forest Service manages two properties in the state of Tennessee. The Land Between the Lakes National Recreation Area has 15 campgrounds and offers lots of fun family activities. And the Cherokee National Forest, located on the eastern border with North Carolina, has 19 campgrounds. The Indian Boundary Campground is the largest campground in the Cherokee National Forest, with a total of 90, 92 campsites. Here are a few photos taken during our most recent trip. The Chilhowee Campground is the second largest campground in the Cherokee National Forest. It has 82 campsites and is located on a remote mountaintop. Illinois has one national forest, the Shawnee National Forest, located in the southern tip. It has six campgrounds. The largest of these campgrounds is the Oak Point Campground with 60 sites. In Louisiana, the Kisachi National Forest is located in the central part of the state. The Kincaid Campground is the largest campground in this forest, but it only has 40 campsites. North Carolina has four national forests. I'm most familiar with the Nantahala and the Pigsta. Jackrabbit Mountain is the largest in the Nantahala National Forest with 101 campsites, and some of these campsites are very nice. Davidson River, with a total of 160 sites, is the largest campground in the Pigsta National Forest, and it is located near several very nice uh, attractions. Lake Powhatan, with 98 campsites, is the second largest campground in the Pigsta National Forest. Wisconsin has two national forests, the Chiquamanon National Forest, located in the northwestern corner of the state, has 20 campgrounds, the largest of which is two lakes, followed by Day Lake and Chippewa. The Nicolay National Forest, located in the northeastern corner of the state, has 19 campgrounds, the largest of which are Boulder Lake with 99 sites, and Franklin Lake with 77 sites. Michigan has four national forests, two in the lower peninsula and two in the upper peninsula. I'm most familiar with the Manistee National Forest on the eastern side of the lower peninsula. Lake Michigan, with 99 campsites, is the largest campground in the Manistee National Forest, Here are a few smaller campgrounds in the Manistee National Forest. Mm -hmm. 
Before concluding, let me say that national forests also permit dispersed or what most people call primitive camping. Before setting up your primitive or dispersed campsite, you'll need to contact the office of the forest in which you plan to visit and make sure that you understand all of the rules and regulations related to dispersed camping in that particular forest. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed this little overview of National Forest campgrounds, and I hope that you've learned something about these campgrounds that perhaps you uh, didn't know before and that you'll consider camping in these campgrounds more often in the future. For more information about great tent camping destinations, please visit my website, moderntentcamping.com. Remember, take more trips, travel further, visit more attractions, and save money. Go tent camping.